Hello, I'm Dr. Annadale, and our text today is chapter 13 of Darwin's On the Origin of Species. The chapter title is Mutual Affinities of Organic Beings, and it's about 47 pages long. This is the last of the application chapters, where Darwin is arguing for the consilience or universality of his theory, having already established in the early chapters the existence of the mechanism and then talked about the adequacy of the mechanism. Now he's completing his case that natural selection is the true cause of the origin of species by taking a look at its application to and surprising uh, um, ability to account for other areas of observations of biological life. In this chapter, there are four different types of evidence, families of evidence that Darwin offers. The first deals with classification, the second with morphology, the third with embryology, and the final one with rudimentary organs. The chapter concludes with a two-page summary, which you should be sure not to miss. Questions as you're reading through this chapter. First, how does each family of evidence support Darwin's theory of transmutation of species and natural selection? Second, which body of evidence do you find strongest and which weakest, if any? What do you find most impressive about the evidence that Darwin marshals? And third, Darwin says toward the end of this chapter that he thinks his theory could be vindicated based upon this evidence alone. Even if there were no evidence in the rest of the book or anywhere else in nature, the fact that he'd marshaled in chapter 13 would be sufficient to establish his theory as true. Do you think he's right, or is he overselling the theory or the evidence at this point? That's all for today. Bye.